वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इनिशियल वैल्यू एंड फाइनल वैल्यू थियरम्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आफ्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनिशियल वैल्यू एंड फाइनल वैल्यू थियरम आई एल एक्सप्लेन फोर सिंपल प्रॉब्लम्स सो दैट विल गिवस यू क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट हाउ टू यूज इनिशियल वैल्यू एंड फाइनल वैल्यू थियरम सो लेट मी डिफाइन फर्स्ट वॉट इज इनिशियल वैल्यू थियरम so my dear students when we talk about initial value theorem then initial value theorem is used to find the value of function when time t goes towards zero so when you want to find the value of function when time t going towards zero then we use initial value theorem now my dear students you should know that when you want to find initial value means value of function at zero time at that time you just need to apply limit and in time domain time t will go towards zero f of t that will be initial value and sometimes you will be given with function in laplace domain so in laplace domain laplacian s that will be going towards infinity see laplace function that will be reciprocal of time right so when time is going towards zero s will go towards infinity and here s into f of s that we need to do so f of s that will be function in terms of laplace domain and you will have to multiply s with that right don't forget to multiply s over here so limit s tends to infinite s into f of s that will be initial value and in time domain it will be just limit t tends to 0 f of t right similarly let us define final value theorem so my dear students final value theorem gives value of function for time t tends to infinite so when you calculate final value so that is what f infinite and in time domain limit t tends to infinite of f of t to get final value and in terms of laplace domain if function is given then you see if t tends to infinite is there then s tends to 0 that you should do and here s into f of s that you will have to calculate for limit s tends to 0 s into f of s will gives you final value of function and in time domain t tends to infinite function f of t that will gives you final value right so here i have seen students are making mistake by not considering this s right so you just multiply s with function f of s and then you do s tends to infinite for initial value and s tends to 0 for final value right let me give you some examples so that will resolve your understanding so here if you observe this question then we are delivered to find final value of function f of s that is omega divided by s square plus omega square now when i have seen this question at first time what i have seen is we are just directly applying rules of final value theorem as per final value is limit s tends to 0 s into f of s right and when you calculate this so at the time you will be observing that here we are just placing the value of function and you will be getting that the value of this will be zero right why it is zero the reason is if you substitute s is equals to zero in this then zero into omega divided by zero plus omega square so that will be zero but my dear students this will be false answer right why it is false answer the reason is see this is what laplace domain function right and if you see this is omega divided by s square plus omega square so in time domain you will be observing this function that is sin omega t right now what is sin omega t it is oscillatory function so when you plot sin then you see it is happening like this right it starts from zero and it is continuously oscillating 
So you cannot identify value of this function at time t is equals to infinite. Why? The reason is it is changing. It is ranging in between plus 1 to minus 1, right? But you cannot say it is 0. So here I have seen students are making mistake. That's why I have considered this problem. Let us have second question. So here you see f of s is given in which that function is s plus 2 divided by s, s square plus 3s plus 1. So here we are dealing with to find final value. So it is very easy over here. Final value will be limit s tends to 0 s into f of s that is final value. Now if you apply f of s over here then s into s plus 2 divided by s s square plus 3s plus 1 this is f of s right now this s will get cancelled and you can substitute s is equals to 0 in this so you'll be getting 0 plus 2 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 1 so 2 by 1 means final value will be 2 so for this type of function we can find final value but for oscillatory function your answer will be false right let us have few more examples so here you see I'm considering initial value calculation for this question. So when we want to calculate initial value, then initial value is f of 0. So limit s tends to infinite, we need to find this and that is s into f of s. Now just substitute f of s over here. So when you substitute f of s, you see s plus 1 divided by s, s plus 2, s plus 5, that is f of s. Then you see this s and this s will get cancelled. Now you see here in numerator s is there as well as in denominator s is there. But you cannot place value of s is equals to infinite directly. The reason is infinite by infinite cannot be the solution, right? So for that, what you can do is you can take 1s from numerator and s square from denominator. So what will happen you see limit s tends to infinite. If you take 1s from numerator then you see 1 plus 1 by s will be there and if you take s square from denominator then see 1 plus 2 by s and 1 plus 5 by s will be there. Now see 1s will get cancelled. So now we have 1 by s into 1 plus 1 by s, 1 plus 2 by s, 1 plus 5 by s. That is how it is there. So 1 by s that will be 0 as s tends to infinity is there. So now you can have answer which is 1 by s is 0 into 1 plus 0 divided by 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0. So 0 into anything that will be 0 right now see here we are having function in terms of time domain and we are dealing with to find initial value so initial value that is f of 0 and in time domain limit t tends to 0 that we need to place right and x of t that we need to write so here function is there in terms of x of t i should be writing here x of 0 now x of t is what x of t is e to the power minus 2t right so if you substitute t is equals to 0 e to the power minus 0 that will be 1 so initial value of this function that will be 1 right so my dear students here all you need to do is you just need to place values in terms of time domain and laplace domain for initial and final value you will have to understand this in terms of time domain initial value will be t tends to 0 and final value will be t tends to infinite right and functions limit that you'll have to identify but when it comes to laplace domain at that time for initial value s should be tends to infinite and for final value s tends to 0 is there and remember s into function that you'll have to calculate along with limits right so these are the basics that you need to keep 
in your mind when you solve problems based on initial value and final value. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.